If you've ever struggled with carburetor tuning and you're just sick of it, we've got our electronic fuel injection system. This eliminates the carburetor and gets replaced with the fuel injection system and allows the bike to run absolutely perfect every time, 100% auto-tune. Got Noah here. What's up? He's going to show us how this all goes together. Let's do it. So we'll start off with our 28 millimeter throttle body here and we'll take our ECU that pops on right there. Then we got our uni pod filter goes on this end like this. And we got our pro build five axis CNC intake manifold that goes right here. We got our injector goes in the top there. Then we got our big harness over here, followed by our fuel tank return line. Or if you'd like, we can choose from two different colors of EFI gas caps, no drilling required. And then we got our fuel pump, our ignition coil, and finally our fuel line and our 18 pole magneto. In the end, you get something that looks just like this. Here's a raw and dirty view of the basically installation of the EFI system. So here, everything as you see it right now is the way you'll get it. You got their Unipod filter with the throttle body. It's got their beautiful silicone, silicone so it doesn't crack. A lot of these are rubber on the market. This R is a silicone. And we've got our five axis CNC'd intake manifold, 27.5 millimeters to match any big bore head. Got our fuel injector but I kind of wanted to go over the wiring. This is very, very easy. So if you notice, this will already be plugged into the injector, so you won't have to worry about that. One of the main things on this is you'll have to weld in this bung. This is a narrow band bung for, on your exhaust pipe, or if you've bought an exhaust pipe from us or something like that, it'll already have that. But to make a long story short, this O2 sensor needs to screw into your exhaust. That's why we supply the bung. That'll sniff the exhaust and it'll the fuel injection system will report back and it'll auto-tune. That's one of the coolest things about this thing is it's all auto-tune. This wire right here is uh, installs on the valve cover. Can't mess that up because it says that. Um, that's going to be the temperature sensor. So it's, it's monitoring the temperature of the valve cover, your engine temp. Then you've got this. Can't mess that up either. It says ground. We normally attach that to the uh, mounting bolts of the starter. And then, if you notice, we've got a blue wire right here. There's a blue wire with a white stripe that comes out of your stator. You're going to use that wire. This is going to plug directly into that. And then this is your power wire. This is red. This is going to plug into any 12-volt power. When you turn the key on, that gets power. Very, very easy. Next, we've got this wire, and that goes to plugs directly into the fuel pump. Very, very easy. Fuel pump needs to be mounted below the gas tank, kind of in the OEM spot where the original fuel pump was. I like to make it a little lower so it's level with the frame. Next, we've got our coil. This just plugs in right on the back side here. Very, very easy. For your ruckus guys, we've got a mount that mounts the ignition coil and the fuel pump. And then we've got our OBD port. You will not use this as it sits now. We use this to tune the ECU. If the ECU is 100% auto-tune, you won't need to get into this. No software is provided or anything like that. So that's the complete install. It's very, very easy. In a nutshell, you just have one, two, three, four wires to plug in, and that's it. It will plug into any wiring harness. Next, we've got our fuel pump um, hose. There's our fuel injector hose. So all you do is just plug this in like this. That clips in there. You take your fuel pump, that'll clip in right here. There's our fuel hose. It's all high pressure, 42 PSI hose. If you, for some reason, need to get this released from here, you're going to push this down and pull open. One very important thing that I should note, whenever you first do your uh, start your bike up, you want to make sure that your fuel pump hose is off of the injector. When you turn the key on, you're going to get fuel that comes out of here. That's going to be priming the line. You're getting the air out. And then next, 
Once the air is out, then you're going to plug it in. Like I said, this is a raw and dirty install. It's kind of showing you quickly. Um, all of these fuel injection systems will need a return line. So for instance, you've got fuel that comes in. It says right here, fuel in. Fuel goes in. So that's from your gas tank. It's going to go right here. Next, you're going to have a return. This is where it's different than a carburetor. Carburetors don't have returns, but fuel injection systems do. So this return line, it relieves the pressure is what it does. So when this, the pressure builds up, it needs to relieve the pressure somehow. And you have that return line that's going to go back into, we have two options. You can choose a gas cap. This is our gas cap. We've got black and, we, and we've got raw. And you can just plug your return hose, like basically from your fuel pump, right into your uh, fuel cap. And that'll send, this bolt is hollow, that's how it's working. It'll send the fuel back into the gas tank. If you don't like that look and you don't want that, we do have this option. This is included. And this will require you to drill a hole in your gas tank and you'll install this tire valve stem. And then we've added a um, Viton O-ring so the gas doesn't affect it and we take the valve core out. But this is this will make you'll drill a hole in the tank, install this, and you've got a return line to your gas tank. Uh, and then finally, you've got your magneto. Uh, on a regular uh, carbureted version, you just have one of these reluctors. On an EFI, you have 26 with one missing. So this is our EFI magneto. You're going to choose whether you have an 11 or a 12 pole stator or an 18 pole stator. In, in the bike already because this matters, the size is different. So it's very important that you know what size stator you have and you must have an 11 pole stator in your bike to make it run at least. If you don't, we have an upgrade kit. So here is the complete setup kind of in a nutshell. This is a raw and dirty. I'll have a actual install video shortly, uh, but here it is. And I will also say that because it comes with an ignition coil, you won't need your old one anymore. You also won't need your CDI box anymore because the ECU has an integrated CDI box in it. You're not going to need your old fuel pump. And if you choose a gas cap, you're not going to need your old gas cap either. So I, I think that gets through most of it. And uh, like I said, we'll have a, a real video instead of the raw and dirty here soon. If you're doing a fresh Honda Ruckus GY6 build and you don't have a wiring harness already and you're going to run our EFI system, there's no need to complicate things and get a different wiring harness. There's a lot of things you won't need, but this is a EFI wiring harness. This is specific if you're running the GY6 EFI system on your Honda Ruckus. Now this is an adapter harness, meaning you keep your existing Honda Ruckus wiring harness in place and using the OEM stuff so it's reliable, and we're just adapting this to it. This is going to make it so that you can run the GUI 6 with the EFI kit. So it's really easy to install. This sucker, you unplug your right hand control, so your start and kill button. This plugs in line with that. And then this ground wire is just going to ground right to the uh, right where the headlight mount is. There's a spot to mount that. And then this goes in line with your brake sensor. Very, very easy. So that completes the right hand control portion of it. And then we've got our, uh, this go to the positive of the battery. This is our starter solenoid. Positive of the battery, this will mount, the starter solenoid mounts over to the top of the battery. And then you run this wire down to the starter, the positive end of the starter. Then we've got our ground wire. That'll go to the negative of the battery to the ground on the starter. So meaning the uh, that, that's gonna be the starter mounting bolt. So that's that, those two pieces. And then your choke wire, we've got this wire right here. This plugs into your existing choke on your Honda Ruckus, like where, what was powering the choke on the stock 50cc. We're now using that for a power wire. So our power from the EFI is going to plug in right here. Next, when you're running the stock harness, you have to trick the ECU into thinking that a fuel pump is plugged in because the EFI has its own fuel pump. And this is going to plug in to the spot where the old fuel pump is. And this tricks the ECU. We have the 18 pull stator that comes in the kit. And we've got the puller, so you can pull your old stator out. 
Whenever you choose the uh, EFI system, you're going to choose an 18 pole because your harness comes with an 18 pole. Our EFI system has options for 18 pole or 11 or 12 pole. You're choosing 18 pole. And then when you do that, when you choose that 18 pole EFI system, it'll come with the 18 pole magneto that's going to go over the top of this. So this is the complete wiring harness. This is our GY6 EFI wiring harness. You won't need another wiring harness on top of that. Just your stock factory wiring harness from your Honda Ruckus and this and a fuel injection kit.